Welcome back guys, I am Danny Burke and ages ago on this channel we did a couple of videos where I told you guys scary stories that were, to the best of my knowledge, 100% true. I saw a lot of you guys in the comments love them, I know many of you like hearing creepy stories but for some reason we never made any more videos on it. That was a mistake but I am here to fix that now with the top 10 scary stories that are real part 3. Alright guys, a lot of these stories came from Reddit so if you liked these you can find more there just like our number 10 from user mom says I'm pretty. They said that when they were a kid they were sleeping with their mom one night in her bed when they woke up in the middle of the night to see their cat sitting in the bedroom doorway. He walked towards them and meowed. They turned to face their mother and tried to wake her up. It took a few seconds but when she finally did they looked back and there across the hallway in their own bedroom door they saw a man walking slowly out of the room. They were on the first floor so their mother threw them out of the window where they ran to a neighbour and called 911. The house was totally locked when they went to sleep and police said they think the man had been hiding in the house until night time. Alright coming in at number 9 now, Reddit user SkyShadow42 told a story about how his wife's grandmother was walking back from the library one day where she volunteered at. About halfway along the wooded walk she noticed someone behind her. Soon the man was right up close to her. He started matching her pace. She started to panic but she knew she was almost home. She was just a hundred yards away and she could feel his breath on the back of her neck when suddenly it happens. He puts his hand on her shoulder and says in a sinister voice, okay b don't turn around and hand over your purse or I'll cut you. Doesn't sound the same coming from me. She stops, she steps forward, she turns around and shoots him in the neck with a gun that she's always kept in her purse. This was Texas. The man died in a hospital prison five years later and the family was left with a pretty scary story to tell everyone. Next up at number 8, Reddit user Lenny AK told the story of being a little kid living in Eastern Europe. One day when he and his cousin were about 8 or 9 years old, they were walking through the woods. Suddenly, in the bushes, they saw a man just standing there. He had his back towards them and was wearing nothing but underwear, dress shoes and a watch. They froze and stared at him. He must have heard them because he began to slowly turn around to reveal a terrifyingly creepy smile on his face. He then began to make a beckoning motion with his finger. They both ran away as fast as they could and they said they've never ran faster since. Moving on to number 7, Reddit user Faux Fox told the story of their family vacation years ago to Missouri. They arrived at the house at 1am and were all hungry from their long drive. His father, mother and younger sisters wanted to see if a nearby McDonald's was open. He was so tired that he said he would stay back at the house. The mother said that one of the sisters would be staying with him too. As he fell asleep watching TV in the living room, he heard the pitter patter of footsteps along the hallway behind him and assumed it was his sister. He got a call from his mother to ask what he wants to eat and he could hear both of his sisters in the background. She confirmed that they had both ended up going with them and then suddenly he heard a giggle come from somewhere behind him. <laughs> He stood up to look around but saw nothing and said he stood in the corner of the room until everyone got back. At the number 6 spot, Reddit user Grumpy Dietitian told the story of her friend who was a medical student. She got back to her apartment at 1pm one Sunday and had a lot of work to catch up on. She sat at the kitchen table for about 5 or 6 hours solid just doing work. Suddenly she looks up across the hallway to her bedroom to see a man casually walking out of the room. There were no other entrances there. She was sat by the front door. He had been there the whole time that she had. He froze in the doorway to her kitchen. She also froze. They stared at each other. Then her phone rang which startled them both. She got up to answer it, he ran out of the door. Apparently she moved to a new apartment soon after and got a huge dog. Next up at number 5, Reddit user NappyBoy28 was renting a place in Bath in the UK one spring. While in bed one night he heard the outside gate open and close quietly, putting him on alert. He heard the footsteps of a person walking on gravel to their front door. The motion sensor light suddenly flickered on. A shadow darted against the wall outside of their room. He ran to the kitchen, grabbed a massive knife and stood by their door waiting to pounce. But there was only silence. Eventually he heard the sound of someone running away and the gate slamming shut behind them. They didn't know if it was a robber 
an attacker or some other sinister figure, but the memory still gives them goosebumps to this day. At number 4 now, one reddit user told the story of moving to a new area when she was 10 years old and making friends with a 12 year old girl. One night her friend Rob was hanging out with the girl and her younger brother. They were home alone. The girl's mother had been helping a woman at work whose sister had recently been released from a mental institution. The kids got a knock at the door that night and they thought it was the mom. Unfortunately, it was actually the woman from the mental institution. She had somehow pieced together where the mother and her family lived. Rob managed to get away, but the girl wasn't so lucky. Police arrived at the house to find the girl had been decapitated and left in the bath. Her head had been hidden. The officer described it as a sight that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. I got dark very quickly. Alright, next up at number 3. Jackie O'Face told the story of how they were almost snatched as a kid. One day he was out playing with his two younger siblings in summer when a man pulled up alongside them in a truck. He called them over and asked for his name. He asked if they're having a good summer. He says he needs help to find his lost puppy. He says he will show him a photo of the puppy if he comes a little bit closer, closer, closer. The boy then called out to his brother Dan who was nearby saying, Dan! Come help us find a puppy. Suddenly, the man looked terrified and drove away as fast as he could. The family thinks that the man thought he was shouting Dad and not Dan. That one simple name mistake might have been the reason he wasn't abducted. Alright, at number two now, we have Gerbils Didn't Do That, who said that when they lived in an apartment by themselves, they would always lock the deadbolt and leave the handle lock unlocked. One day, they came home and found that it was switched over. Now, she thought it was just her mistake at first, but it kept happening every single day. The locks were always the wrong way around. One day it happened and she thought that was really strange as usual. She went to the fridge to get something to eat and inside the fridge she found a 100 year old book, just like the ones she actually collected as a hobby. But this one wasn't hers. She called her landlady to find out what was going on. The landlady said she didn't touch the locks or put the book in the fridge but was very freaked out because the last person to live there was a very creepy guy with mental health issues and drugs problems. She got the locks changed forever later that day. And finally now at number 1, we have user CDC who told the story of always having a very irrational fear as a child that if they returned home at night, they had to walk straight into the house without looking back because if they did, someone would be following them. One night they went to go and grab their school bag from the car and on their way back with their anxiety levels reaching their absolute peak, they thought, this is stupid, what am I doing? So they looked back. He saw what appeared to be someone crouching down beside his mum's car, peeking their head around the side. A woman in her mid to late thirties. She was just staring at them, wide eyed, with a big smile on her face. They made eye contact and then he ran inside. Another reddit user said she was smiling because finally, after years of watching him, he had finally caught her. Creepy. That is the only word I have for that one. Alright, you little creeps, do you want a part 4 of this? I kinda do. I found a couple of other stories that might actually be a little bit too dark for this video, so I'm gonna see how you guys like this one, and then maybe we'll get even darker in the next part. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on all our future videos. I'm Danny Burke, and I'll see you all in the next one.